Hello and welcome to Weekend Projects. I'm Bree Pettis and every week I bring you a project that you can make over the weekend. This weekend, it's raining, it's pouring, it's absolutely miserable out. Which means it's a perfect time to make up some kits. So, let's go inside, I've got some kits ready, gonna heat up the soldering iron to keep me warm, and uh, make some cool stuff. We've got the Minty Boost kit, the USB charger, where they, you put, just put in two AA batteries and it goes ahead and it charges anything you could, that you could charge with a USB type cord. And then we've got the Daisy, which is the open source MP3 player. Both these things are available in our store and are really fun to make. The Minty Boost kit was designed by Lamore out of New York City and it's a pretty simple kit. In fact, if you know somebody who might enjoy soldering or has always wanted to but still hasn't, this might be a good gift for them because it's really simple and very satisfying. Basically, you solder this all up, you put all the pieces in there, you solder them to the board, there's really great instructions, and basically all you have to do is then you have to get a little Altoids tin, cut out this little tin part, and you've got yourself a Minty Boost kit. All right, I'm all set. I can actually plug my phone into this and uh, it will charge it all up. And I can go ahead and plug in my iPod and I can rock for a lot longer. Okay, next up, we've got the Daisy. Now this is an open source MP3 player that's been put together by Raphael Abrams. Now basically with this, you're gonna go ahead and put it all together and then you'll be able to put stuff, all your MP3s on an SD card or multiple SD cards. And then you can go ahead and stick them in there and it'll play them. Now, uh, you can go ahead and hook up buttons to these little things that will make it skip to the next song or make the volume louder. I still have to do that. Now, to do this, you get started by soldering up this chip right here. Then you go ahead and you solder everything else up. Being careful with some of these parts, they have to go in a certain way rather than just any way. Then you go ahead and you're, um, all, you put everything on there, you solder it all up, and you go ahead and you plug it in to the battery pack and you're all good to go. All right, I've got it hooked up in my car to an FM transmitter and I'm on my way to two of my favorite places to see if I can find a cool case for this MP3 player, the Daisy. Boeing surplus is insanely cool. They won't let me take a video camera in there, but I bought boxes, wooden boxes for $2. I bought uh, some snippers for $3 each. And I bought this crazy thing for five dollars. Looks like a cool housing. And then the find of the day was the seismic meter, the seismic thingamajigger, which um, is going to make a really cool project case. Goodwill is awesome. You can find pretty much anything here as long as you're not actually looking for it that day. There's kind of a you have to go there and be open because you never know what you're going to find. I'm hoping to find an enclosure for that MP3 player. Let's see what I can do. I found some good stuff here. Check it out. Children's stereo cassette player, robot, little cool little box that could go right in there. And then I've got a little laser tag system that could go right in there. And then an old joystick, which I think it'll fit in. Time to take these things home and see which ones are usable. This thing was too small for the MP3 player. And so I had to switch over to the laser tag thing. And here it is, it's all done. It's so cool. Basically, I start this thing up and a little red light goes on right in there, yep. And that's on the board in there. And then I've got the batteries in the back. And you can see those right here. That makes it really easy to put them in and out. And I've just, there's a little compartment. I, I moved the switch so that there's a switch right here that turns it on and off. Oh, and basically I re went in and I opened this thing up and it turns out that the switches on here were really easy to mod. Basically now when I hit the trigger, it goes to the next song. And when I hit one of these things on the side, it makes the volume go up and the volume go down. Uh, I was gonna put a little switch right here. I actually I drilled it out and I have it right here. But unfortunately I got the kind of switch here that is always on except when you push it and then it's off. And I want the opposite. I want to be able to push it and make the wires connect. But this is the opposite. So this is actually useless and I need to get another one of these. And then I'll just go ahead and I'll put that right there and it'll look much cooler than this little button right here which is just something I had around. Tim Anderson came up with this awesome mod for doing DIY headphones. These are ear protection. This is the stuff that like aircraft people use when they're landing airplanes to protect their ears. I actually can't hear anything. This works way better than noise canceling headphones. Then you just take those cheapy things, the, uh, the uh, headphones that you get on the airplane, you just stuff those right in there. There's room for them. 
and you are good to go. You can hear clear as a bell, and you can't hear anything else. One last thing. Your SD card has to be formatted FAT32 in order to work in the DAISY. So I could only do that on a PC. If you've got some secret way of doing it on a Mac, that's great. But I just stuck it in a card reader, hooked it up to my PC, and then I went ahead and I formatted it FAT32 and it worked great. Then I just went ahead and I stuck it in there and I'm listening to tunes. Okay, now I've got an idea for that Minty Boost. I'm going a little case mod crazy. It's a dinosaur charger. Basically, I took a plastic dinosaur, of which I collect many, and I went ahead and made a flap and made a little slot for the little USB hole there, and I stuffed the, uh, the batteries down in there, and then I just closed this up, and I've got a charger that is a dinosaur. Okay, I can see how people get obsessed with case mods, and I'm going to see what you mod. Take the weekend, go ahead and make something, take something else and put it into a new case, or go ahead and get one of our kits and kit it on up, and then go ahead and put it up in a cool case and upload it to the Make Flickr pool. I really want to see these. Okay, I'm Bree Pettis for Make Magazine. Go forth, do some case mods, and have a great weekend.